Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to knit a spiral scarf like the one that I'm wearing here. So the trick or secret to making a spiral scarf like this one here is you cast on a certain number of stitches, let's just say a hundred, and then you knit a few rows, say two or three, and then you do an increase row and you increase in every single stitch so that you double the number of stitches so if you started with a hundred you would then have two hundred stitches after your first increase row you would knit a few more plain rows increase again knit a few more rows increase again and so on the yarn that I will be using in this sample is amazing from Lion Brand and the color is I believe Pink Sands and you want to use a long circular needle for spiral scarves I would recommend at least a 32 inch needle the needle that I'm going to be using in this tutorial is 40 inches the reason you need to have such a long needle is because you're going to end up with hundreds of stitches and they just won't fit on a straight needle so you do need a fairly long circular needle so let's get started the first step of course is to cast on and you can use any cast on that you like I am just going to use the regular old long tail cast on for my scarf here okay now that I have all of my stitches cast on I am going to just knit three plain rows before I do my first row of increases. Okay, I've knit my first three rows and now I'm ready to do my increase row. And I'm going to increase in every single stitch. And to make my increases, I'm just going to knit into the front and the back of every stitch. So when I'm done with this row, I should have twice as many stitches as I started with. So for example, if you started out with 50 stitches, when you're done with this row, you would have 100 stitches. My increase row is now complete and what I'm going to do next is knit three more rows, just plain knitting, there's no more increasing in any of these rows, just knitting. Okay, three rows have been knit and once again I'm going to do an increase row and I'm going to do that the same as I did before into every stitch, knit into the front and back so that you're doubling the number of stitches again. So for example, if you started out with 50 stitches, on your last increase row you would have 100 stitches, and then with this increase row you would end up with 200 stitches when you're done with this row. Okay, my second increase row is now complete, and what I'm going to do now is, again, just knit three rows, just plain knitting, there are no increases in any of these rows. Okay, three more rows knit, and this is what my scarf looks like so far, and I'm ready for another increase row, and just like before I'm going to be knitting into the front and the back of every single stitch to double the number of stitches on my needles. Okay, this is what my scarf looks like after my third increase row. And once again, I'm going to just knit three rows. And I think you get the general idea of how this is done. So, like I said, I'm going to knit three more rows. I'll do another increase row 
and then I'll be just about done with the scarf so I will come back and show you when I am at that point okay I am ready to start binding off now as you can see I have a ton of stitches on my needles which is why it is important to have a long circular needle and you can use any bind off that you like I'm just going to use the regular old knitted bind off for my scarf here and as you begin to bind off you should see your scarf starting to spiral and I think that the binding off part is the part that takes the longest just because there are so many stitches and binding off is a somewhat slow process to begin with at least it is for me so it just seems like it takes a really long time because you end up with 800 or 900 or a thousand stitches or so and that takes a really long time to bind off so even though I'm just now at the beginning of binding off you can see my scarf is already starting to get a little twist in it. Okay, I'm continuing to bind off. I'm getting near the halfway point, and you can see that I have this really pretty ruffle going on here. So I'm just going to keep on binding off. So I'm still binding off here and I'm almost done. And you can see here they have this really pretty spiral. So I'm just going to keep on binding off. And then I will show you what the completed scarf looks like. Okay, I am finished binding off and this is what the finished scarf looks like.